Welcome back to Jimmy and Gore guys. In this video, I will show you how to create a real splash screen in JavaFX. Uh, here I have created a sample application. So this is a splash screen, a loading window. And after showing this for 5 seconds, the actual program is loaded. So in the last video, uh, I have shown how to create a splash screen or welcome screen inside this window and in this case I'll be creating a separate window for this splash uh, I mean the splash screen so in order to make things more simple I'm going to add this on a separate project suppose if I want to add a, uh, a splash screen for this Java FX tutorial uh, project let's run the code so this is my application JavaFX so I have to give I want to give a splash screen for this application and let's see how we can do that so for that first I have to create a window I mean a FX an FXML file for the splash screen so I'm going to create an empty FXML file and let it be splash FXML dot fxml and of course I want a controller actually I don't have to give this dot fxml name splash fxml then splash fxml controller for con making controls finish <coughs> so now I have a flash fxml dot fxml file I'm going to open that in the scene builder now I have the scene builder open you can make any design you want for the splash screen right here I'm going to reuse my old splash screen file the splash.fxml for this purpose in order to save some time so I'm going to uh, copy this tag pane I'm going to paste it here I'm going to cut it uh, removing this anchor pane and pasting it here so that's it so I have given the welcome uh, splash dot fx uh, flash fxml dot fxml and so now we got the splash fxml and we have corresponding controller let us create some controllers make controller so the root is generated I don't want this that's okay that's fine so now we got this the next thing we have to change is rather than loading the original tree table view dot fxml which is actually the uh, main content of the program which is this first we have to give control to this splash fxml dot fxml file so let's do that splash fxml dot fxml so at first this splash fxml file will be loaded and the corresponding controller will be invocated and what we have to do is after showing the uh, this splash fxml uh, splash fxml dot fxml we have to load the original file which is the tree table view dot fxml so let's see how we can do that uh, in order to make things more clear I'm going to write a thread here to add some sleep or something like that so class sleeper Oh, I don't want sleeper class splash screen X thread I hope you are familiar with thread whatever I write inside the public void run will be executed using another thread rather than using the user interface UI thread of JavaFX so that's why I'm writing this the first thing we have to do is to create a sleep function so the you can change the amount of time that the splash screen will be shown use by changing this vari variable it's uh, I am going to set it to 5000 so which is 5 seconds sleep and after sleeping I have to make the tree table view visible so I'm going to reuse this code here so instead of loading splash fxml dot fxml I want t travel view dot fxml it will show some ex throw some exception so I am catching that and there is no stage you can create a stage using stage stage equal to new stage and we have created new scene 
we go new stage and everything is okay so so far so good the last thing i have to do is after these five seconds i don't want to see my splash screen i want to make that invisible so that can be done using the root pane which is the root pane of the splash screen which get seen get seen dot get window dot hide so by calling this method after five seconds the splash screen will be gone from the uh, visible area so uh, the last thing we have to do is to call this splash screen method so new splash screen dot start so the thread will start right from there there are still some issues that is we can't do this kind of processing in another thread since we are processing the user interface from the splash screen sir. Uh, so this can be this problem can be avoided by platform dot run later and accessing new runnable object and removing this we have to call it right from here we don't want this exception there but we have to so the reason I have done this because Java FX have uh, is using only one thread for its UI purpose you can't alter contents of the UI in another thread so we have to post the processing onto the other thread so that's what we have done here I think you're already familiar with that so there is an extra okay so far so good and one more problem that we will face is the background image I haven't added the image copied the image to here so I'm going to copy and paste it right here so we got the back and let's the splash fx symbol dot fx symbol and then it will be created and after five seconds we will load the tree table view dot fx symbol so let's run the program so we are getting an issue uh, because the uh, path is changed we have to set the image and after five seconds we are getting the actual content we have to set the background image for the uh, splash screen since we haven't set that yet so I'm going to set that so it's a very nice welcome screen so we got the image and when we run the code you can see that we have a close minimize and uh, but uh, these buttons we want to remove that because that won't be present for a normal splash screen and that can be achieved easily by using the modality that is stage dot init modality and uh, or we can use decoration so for that init style and stage style dot undecorated so when we set a stage style as undecorated there won't be any close button or minimize button or something like that so we got a pure splash screen and after completion of five seconds we are getting the actual content so that's it guys that's how you use the splash screen or how we implement the splash screen for our JavaFX application thank you for watching this video like the video if you like it subscribe for more cool videos